Travis Scott says he is 1,000% sure he did everything he could to help dying audience members during the Astroworld tragedy. In his first interview since the November 5th hip-hop festival that ended in the deaths of 10 people, including the youngest victim, 9-year-old Ezra Blunt, Scott claims he didn't hear his Houston audience's screams for help as the victims fell into peril. I just didn't hear that 30-year-old Scott said Thursday during a tete-a-tete -tete with Charlemagne de God on The Breakfast Club. When Charlemagne, 43, asked him if he did everything he could, an emotional Scott struggled to find words, saying, everything I physically could, sure, yes. And, if knowing what was going on, you just wish you could have done something better. But, standing there, 1000%. Scott also insisted that I'm the type of artist who would have stopped his show if he were aware that concertgoers were in imminent danger. Anytime you can hear something like that, you want to stop the show, the sicko mode MC continued, adding that he did stop the music a few times during the fateful event. You want to make sure fans get the proper attention they need. I just go off the fans' energy. But I just didn't hear, screams, the Astroworld disaster, noted as one of the deadliest live music crowd events in American history, has resulted in more than 140 lawsuits and a mass litigation suit by 1,500 show attendees against Scott, Live Nation, Apple Music, Drake and others. In most of the suits, per court documents, victims claim the antidote rhymer and his cohorts were negligent during the show, which attracted more than 50,000 crowd members, and stood to make huge sums of money from the concert. Meanwhile, Scott recently denied responsibility for the deaths in legal documents, but now says his mission is to try to identify what factors contributed to the loss of so many lives during his performance. Fans come to the show to have a good experience, Scott explained to Charlemagne. I have a responsibility to figure out what happened here. I have a responsibility to find a solution, he said. Hopefully this takes a first step into us as artists having more insight as to what's going on. And the professionals to figure out what's going on, in the future move forward in concert safety, he added, referring to Live Nation and other defendants named in the suits.